The three-year-old filly pacing division has an emerging star. Cheery Hello, however, is more than a racehorse for co-owner Andy Grant. She is part of his rich heritage in the sport. Back in 1972, my family sold a package of mares to Castleton Farm, among which was Tarport Shear, the dam of Cheery Hello. Tyler B. and Tarport Hap, horses which we've been fortunate enough to own. Tarport Shear, Cheery Hello's mother, has gone on to be an extraordinary broodmare. Given her talents, combined with the great sire Albatross, Cheery Hello's class and speed are not surprising. First of all, she has the pedigree, and unfortunately at two, she had to have a chip taken out of her left hind leg. Uh, and Jim Miller, her trainer, uh, we decided last, uh, early last winter to take our time with her and the results have uh, paid off. Well, she was a sensational filly right from day one. Uh, you know, I just, it was a heartbreaker last year. I raced her three times and I warmed her up one night and she just wasn't right, wasn't bad. We scratched her and we took her home and found a little chip in her ankle. So rather than fool around, we just took it out and give her the year off. Jerry, hello. The layoff did not hurt this star filly. She has bounced back strong, winning 14 of 20 starts this season, including six of her last seven and over $420,000. In Lexington, preparing for the Breeders' Crown, she was brilliant. She is a great filly. She's just did it these four races here at Lexington, just under wraps. We're saving her for the Breeders' Crown. You know, we just want to win the Breeders' Crown. That's our next goal. Tonight, a trip to the winner's circle would be the fulfillment of half a lifetime's dream for one of the sport's most respected leaders. That would be a, an extremely great thrill. We've been fortunate enough to have one horse in the Reader's Crown, but we've never won one. And my ultimate goal is to win the Hamiltonian and the Breeders' Crown. And now we're back live in the winner's circle, and certainly the dreams of Andy Grant came to fruition. Trainer Jim Miller holding the horse and Tony Padone, New York uh, real estate developer, next to him.